understanding quadrilaterals problems on quadrilaterals quadrilateral abcd is a parallelogram what special name will you give it if you know these special things about the quadrilateral side ab is congruent to side ad when adjacent sides of the parallelogram are equal it is called a rhombus Quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. What special name will you give it if you know these special things about the quadrilateral? Measure angle DAB is equal to 90 degrees. One angle is 90 degrees, so all angles are 90 degrees. Hence, rectangle. Quadrilateral ABCD is a parallelogram. What special name will you give it if you know these special things about the quadrilateral? Side AB is congruent to side AD and measure angle DAB is equal to 90 degrees. Here adjacent sides are equal, so rhombus. One angle is 90 degrees, so all angles are 90 degrees. Hence, square Let's see another one. One side of a parallelogram is 4.8 cm and the other side is 3 by 2 times the first side. Find the perimeter of the parallelogram. Suppose ABCD is a parallelogram and side AD is equal to 4.8 cm. Therefore, side BC is equal to 4.8 cm. Side AB is equal to 4.8 multiplied by 3 upon 2, which is equal to 2.4 multiplied by 3, which is equal to 7.2 centimeters. Therefore, side DC is equal to 7.2 centimeters. Therefore, the perimeter of the quadrilateral ABCD is equal to 4.8 plus 4.8 plus 7.2 plus 7.2. which is equal to 24 cm let's see another one two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are in the ratio of 1 is to 2 find all the angles of the parallelogram adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary let the angles be 1b and 2b 1b plus 2b is equal to 180 degrees Therefore 3B is equal to 180 degrees therefore B is equal to 60 degrees and therefore 2B is equal to 120 degrees opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal therefore angles of the parallelogram are 60 degrees 60 degrees 120 degrees and 120 degrees let's take a look at another sum Two adjacent angles of a parallelogram are equal. Find the measure of each angle of the parallelogram. Adjacent angles in a parallelogram are supplementary. Let the angles be B and B. Therefore, B plus B is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 2B is equal to 180 degrees and therefore B is equal to 90 degrees. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal. Therefore, angles of the parallelogram are 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees and 90 degrees. Let's take a look at another sum. The ratio of two sides of a parallelogram is 3 is to 5 and its perimeter is 48 cm. Find the sides of the parallelogram. Let two sides be 3B and 5B. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. Therefore, other two sides are 3B and 5B. Now, perimeter is equal to 3B plus 3B plus 5B plus 5B, which is equal to 16B, which is equal to 48 centimeters. Therefore, 16B is equal to 48. Therefore, B is equal to 3. Therefore 3b is equal to 9 and therefore 5b is equal to 15 Therefore 
the sides of the parallelogram are 9 cm, 9 cm, 15 cm and 15 cm. Let's take a look at another sum. PR is a diagonal of the parallelogram PQRS. Is PS equal to PQ? Not necessarily. Opposite sides of a parallelogram are always equal. Adjacent sides need not be equal. Is S equal to PQ? Yes, opposite sides of a parallelogram are always equal. PR is a diagonal of the parallelogram PQRS. Is PR equal to RP? Yes, it is the same line segment. Is triangle PSR congruent to triangle RQP? Side SP is congruent to side RQ because they are opposite sides of a parallelogram. Side SR is congruent to side PQ because they are the opposite sides of a parallelogram. And side PR is congruent to side PR because it is the same line segment. Therefore, triangle PSR is congruent to triangle RQP by the side 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 test. In the parallelogram, find the values of the unknown angles. Adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So, 100 degrees plus Z is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, Z is equal to 80 degrees. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. In the parallelogram ABCD, find the values of the unknown angles. Adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So, 50 degrees plus Y is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, Y is equal to 130 degrees. Opposite angles of a parallelogram are congruent. Angle Z and angle Y are alternate angles of parallel lines. Therefore, they are congruent. Take a look at the parallelogram and find the values of the unknown angles. Angle POH plus 70 degrees is equal to 180 degrees as these are a linear pair of angles. Therefore, angle POH is equal to 110 degrees. Angle POH is equal to angle PEH because they are opposite angles. Angle PEH plus angle EHP plus angle HPE is equal to 180 degrees since these are the internal angles of a triangle. Therefore, 110 degrees plus 40 degrees plus angle HPE is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, angle HPE is equal to 30 degrees. Take a look at the parallelogram and find the values of the unknown angles. Angle EPH is equal to angle PHO as they are alternate angles. Therefore, angle PHO is equal to 30 degrees. Angle EHP is equal to angle HPO as they are alternate angles. Therefore, angle HPO is equal to 40 degrees. Can you use another method and find the values of the angles? Angle EPO is equal to angle POD as they are alternate angles. Therefore, angle EPO is equal to 70 degrees. Angle EPO is equal to angle EHO because they are opposite angles. Therefore, angle EHO is equal to 70 degrees. Therefore, Z plus 40 degrees is equal to 70 degrees. Therefore, Z is equal to 30 degrees. Now, angle EHP is equal to angle HPO because they are alternate angles. Therefore, angle Y is equal to 40 degrees. Therefore, angle PEH plus angle EHO is equal to 180 degrees as adjacent angles are supplementary. Therefore, X plus 70 is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, X is equal to 110 degrees. Let's see another one. Lengths of diagonals AC and BD of a rhombus are 6 cm and 8 cm respectively. Find the length of each side of the rhombus. Diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other at 90 degrees. AC is equal to 6 cm 
and BD is equal to 8 cm. Therefore, AO is equal to 3 cm and BO is equal to 4 cm. Triangle AOB is a right angled triangle. Therefore, AB square is equal to AO square plus BO square. Therefore, AB square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square which is equal to 9 plus 16 which is equal to 25. Therefore, AB square is equal to 25. Therefore, AB is equal to 5. Each side of the rhombus is 5 cm. ABCD is a rhombus and its diagonals intersect each other at O. Is OB equal to OD? Yes, diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of each other. Is BC equal to DC? Yes, all sides of a rhombus are equal. Is triangle BOC congruent to triangle DOC? Yes, by SSS test. Let's take a look at another one. ABCD is a rhombus and its diagonals intersect each other at O. Triangle BOC is congruent to triangle DOC by SSS test. So, angle DCO is congruent to angle BCO. Does diagonal AC bisect angle C? Yes. So, you know that diagonals of a rhombus bisect the opposite angles as well. Let's take a look at another one. Diagonal AC of a rhombus ABCD is equal to one of its sides BC. Find all the angles of the rhombus. All sides of a rhombus are equal. Therefore, side AB is congruent to side BC. Diagonal AC is congruent to side BC which is given. So, in triangle ABC, all sides are equal since triangle ABC is equilateral. Therefore, angle B is equal to 60 degrees. Angle of an equilateral triangle. Therefore, angle B plus angle A is equal to 180 degrees as these are supplementary angles. Therefore, angle A is equal to 120 degrees. Let's take a look at this sum. RICE is a rhombus. Find the values of X, Y and Z. Diagonals of a rhombus bisect each other. Therefore, segment CO is congruent to segment OR. Therefore, segment OR is equal to 12. Segment EO is congruent to segment OI. Therefore, segment EO is equal to 5. All sides of a rhombus are equal. Therefore, side ER is equal to 13 and therefore side RI is equal to 13. Let's take a look at another one. RENT is a rectangle. Find the value of X. Diagonals of a rectangle are equal in length. Therefore, segment ET is congruent to segment RN. Diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other. So, point O is the midpoint of both diagonals. Therefore, segment OT is congruent to segment OR. Therefore, 3x plus 1 is equal to 2x plus 4. Therefore, 3x minus 2x is equal to 4 minus 1. Therefore, x is equal to 3. Let's take a look at another sum. EFGH is a rectangle. Find the length of the diagonal and remaining sides. Opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Therefore, segment GF is congruent to segment EH which is equal to 5 cm. Therefore, segment GH is congruent to segment EF which is equal to 12 cm. Triangle HEF is a right angle triangle. Therefore, HF square is equal to EH square plus EF square. Therefore, HF square is equal to 12 square plus 5 square which is equal to 144 plus 25, which is equal to 169. Therefore, HF square is equal to 169. And therefore, HF is equal to 13 centimeters. If one diagonal of a square is 15 centimeters long, how long is the other diagonal? Both the diagonals of a square are equal. Therefore, length of the other diagonal is equal to 15 centimeters. 
If one side of a square is 8 cm long, how long are the other sides? All sides of a square are equal in length. Therefore, length of each side is equal to 8 cm. Let's take a look at another sum. PQRS is a square. Find measure angle STP. Diagonals of a square bisect each other at right angles. Therefore, measure angle STP is equal to 90 degrees. Find measure angle PST. Diagonals of a square bisect each other at right angles. Therefore, segment ST is congruent to segment TP since triangle STP is isosceles. Therefore, angle TSP is congruent to angle TPS which is equal to B as these are the base angles of isosceles triangle. Therefore, B plus B plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 2B plus 90 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 2B is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, B is equal to 45 degrees. Therefore, measure angle PST is equal to 45 degrees. Well done! If you like our videos, do share them and subscribe to our channel. If you want awesome quizzes, write to us. Keep watching and keep learning with Walnut.